Hi everyone, my name is BJ and I'm the CEO of Nibua. Nibua is a battery startup company. We offer the most cost effective fast charging battery of the highest performance to take the EV and UE top markets up to the next level. We are dealing with a problem to drive EV adoption, uh, virtual anxiety and uh, EV price point. I, as I elaborate the argument on the slide, the question to us all is, can we solve this problem at the same time? So let me share a uh, uh, range use case proposed by the Department of Energy, or DOE, in the US. If we reduce one third of battery now using Tesla equivalent EV, that's about 15% less in the total EV cost. In exchange of three times faster charging uh, than a Tesla charging. This new kind of EV will travel faster than a Tesla. In a journey of uh, 500 miles in distance, for example, between Salt Lake City and Denver. DOE has a technology concept for this, uh, this battery. Uh, it's called Extreme Fast Charging, short as SFC. To set up SFC infrastructure in the, for the coming decade, DOE and several national labs uh, let out an industrial map offering the demand farm to the community starting end of last year. What I am going to tell you today is this SFC era will arrive much, much earlier than DOE suggested, given we level up as this close to commercialize SFC. And in some key performance attribute, we outperform well beyond DOE's own projection. I can say so because Nivo I is in the first month of the POC collaborating with the tier one OEM. All tests uh, result so far. Uh, confirms our internal qualification data correctly. So now this, this is a one example uh, attribute Nivo up outperform. DOE and its collaborative lab find it so hard to achieve to make the the peak the peak uh, temperature rise below 48 degrees Celsius during the fast charging. In Nivo our case, our temperature rise in the single digit level about the room temperature. And this is another attribute uh, Nivo R outperforms uh, DOE's projection. In, DOE suggested the initial cost of the SFC battery will be more than twice of the battery we use today. Nivo R proved our code, the, our technology will increase the cost by less than 10% also initially. So in the core of our Nivo R's value proposition is it is 1,000 US dollar in bond cost per EV a gross margin of 40 to 50% controlled by our proprietary process and a very unique recipe. Our business model is still evolving as we are different in our um, stakeholder industry uh, partner engagement and IP development. On the competitive landscape, now level up with uh, uh, this uh, SFC ready status. We'll be soon assuming the sole outstanding leader position among all the competitors. Uh, the prior leader was uh, Stota. As an intro to our team, you may view us as a group of uh, you know, chemical and material science hacker um, carrying probably 100 collective years of uh, core experiences. The team stayed in stealth during the last two years. We implemented the first uh, MVP in the battery history. It's the first of its kind in the, in the battery history again. And now we have a manufacturing baseline, proven and ready for the advanced development. And about everything else, 
I can assume no other prior battery startup ever achieved as much as we did. And now, uh, with that, I'm ending my pitch. Thank you. Thank you so much. Curtis, do you have any questions? Well, I can start. Um, is there a reason why you're focusing on, on EV tolls and not cars or some other devices needing battery and technology? That's how you started it. Oh, yeah, because uh, this, this is really, really driven by the power required for this uh, application. Um, this is coming from the basic of our technology. We, two years ago, Stanford Uni University has this uh, discovery, fast charging inclusive uniformity. So we actually, we are operating at the upper layer of uh, total energy. So we are, we are now going to compete in a in lower power consumption space, which like consumer, they consume much less power. So your technology is basing on Redux? Based on Redux? Uh, um, Redux everything. Every battery has to deal with Redux. The problem before us is, uh, uh, I say this is kind of interchangeable. People may look at Redux as a very dangerous process without an idealist finding you know, come out to the, to the, to the world. This a, it's a discovery is like two years ago by Stanford University only. Any additional questions? Now everyone's busy writing. It looks like you're off the hook. Yeah. All right, thank you so much.